Are you recording this? Hey, good afternoon, everyone. I welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today's portfolio review, today's date is April 9th, and today is a Tuesday, and the time right now is 17.50. So 5.50 for those who's in the civilian time zone. All right, so today's portfolio review, let's take a look at it. I just log in. I haven't really analyzed it, so you're doing, you're, we're seeing this live for the first time looking at my account. So, all right, so wow, this is great. I, I love seeing green. Every time I see a day change, I didn't buy anything, I didn't do anything, no activity today, and my, my account went up $1,268. Um, that means 1.50% cents. So now my account value is 82,000. Remember at one point, my margin and my account has the same value, it was crazy. All right, so that means my gain and loss, it went down to 36. If you all remember a couple of days ago, a couple of days ago, this thing was $40,000 loss, okay? And it was like 21% or something like that. Now it's 19% and I'm down 36%. All right, so why, why is it down like that? Uh, because it's probably Tesla, remember I told you guys, I am so heavy on Tesla and Tesla that if this thing go up, it's pretty much I know that my Tesla and Tesla went up. And, and looking down, yes, if you look at my, oh, I'm sorry, you guys don't see the screen, so let me share the screen. All right, so my Tesla Tesla went up to uh, $176 today. It went up 2% uh, from yesterday. Uh, that's awesome. It's on its way up. Uh, I love to see this. I'm not sure what causing it up. I haven't seen the news. Some people will say RoboTaxi is what making it up, or maybe Elon tweeting less, or or maybe the reality is that maybe it should to, it's a good time to own Tesla because sooner or later, Kathy Wood prediction this thing going to go to $2,000. Guess what? All those owning Tesla at 176 Now, ideally, you want to own Tesla at $60, $20 when it first came out. But hey, man, that bridge is sale for me. But, but however, I can get, my average is 187, I have 50 share. And if this thing go up to $2,000, $2, man, that's, that's good. I'm gonna keep on buying Tesla. Tesla is gonna be my core uh, equity funds. I'm gonna buy other core equity funds. So I'm gonna give you the list right now so you have an idea. And, and guess what? It's gonna sound like yield max. No, so my core fund is the underlining of all these funds. So like AMZ, I'm gonna own Amazon. My, uh, MSFO, I'm gonna own Microsoft. So I'm gonna own Microsoft, Amazon, uh, you know, A, uh, C3 AIs. I'm gonna own. I'm gonna own all the underlines, block, you know, um, uh, Coinbase, all that stuff. And how I'm gonna buy it? I'm not gonna buy it through my check paycheck. Hell no. I haven't put money in this in my paycheck in a while. What happened to that 1,500 I put every month? I gave it to my girl, man. Uh, and she, she's enjoying life and she's going to buy some more bobo tea, bobo drink. So, and for those who don't know what bobo drink is, man, then you need to have Asian friends. I don't know how to explain it to you. It's a, it's something very popular with Asian community. We buy bobo tea. You guys know bobo tea? Any of you guys in discord heard of bobo tea or drink bobo tea? Oh, I love bobo tea, man. It's good. Yeah, I love bobo tea. Okay. Okay. So it's not an Asian thing. No, it's not Asian. It, it is Asian. It, it was, but malls, the malls are carrying. Oh, right. have, uh, not an Asian girl thing, I guess. Fresh. Like, Asian girl, man, they always walk around with bubble tea, man, like, everywhere. They really yeah, my fiance, that. she's Asian, and she, that's, she hooked me on boba. Yeah. <laughs> I love I, I, and I don't tea. know how they maintain 100 pounds. I don't get it. How you drink boba all, every day, all the time, and yet you're still 100 pounds? What is, what is up with, that's crazy, man. Uh, but anyway, the, uh, side story, sorry. So yeah, so uh, Tesla is doing really well and uh, I'm very proud of Tesla. And guess what? My gain and loss coming down to 500. When this thing reached 187, guess what? My gain and loss gonna be zero. And then if Rivian go up also, Rivian need to come up not to 1150 because my cover, my strike price is 1150. It need to come up to 1149 and I'm happy, all right? Um, but if it go up to 12, my average is $14. If it go up to $14, man, my equity is going to be zero. And then, of course, that's going to decrease my gain and loss. Uh, a lot of people like to look at my gain and loss and, and, and point that out to me. Oh, you're losing money. I keep telling people over and over again, if you keep thinking this is losing money, oh, my God. All right, that's the market. The market is down for me, M my market, not the, not the, not the, the market. I don't know what but I'm talking about what I purchased is down right now, okay? And when that come, go back up, 
it's going to be zero. All right. So this is my equity, and it's right now I have total twenty thousand. If it continue to go up, eventually my I hope to get you know thirty thousand, forty thousand by July. Uh, you know by the end of the summer. Uh, if I can get to forty thousand by the end of the summer, guess what? What what the forty thousand do? This money right here. So at some point, I'm gonna sell everything here to pay off my margin, and I'm gonna do that somewhere around December. In December, I'm gonna sell everything, and then I reset it. I reset my entire portfolio with ten thousand dollars a month and with no margin. So yeah, wow. So that's that's the game plan where I'm going. In. Okay. So let's see. Look at Connie is down two point two six. The current price is twenty five fifty five. Um, if if it down tomorrow, if it drop below if it drop below twenty five, my average is twenty one. I don't want to mess with my average. I, I I have a hard rule that I don't uh, I don't DCA up. But Connie might be, might be a case where I DCA up. I may I may do it. So what I'm gonna do is when this thing go twenty five, I think I have a purchase order for twenty five. Uh, I have to double check. I'm pretty sure I put a purchase order for 25, uh, and I have it. I have it waiting. So, um, so I gotta double check on that. Let's see everything else. Uh, what else down? MSTY is down three percent. Wow, did it get? Did it came down much further than that? I haven't looked at the market all day. So, uh, so it went to 34. Same thing. If it break, it for me. If it break thirty, I probably put some money in it. I only want share. I don't know why it matters. I mean, one share. I just, I just try not to buy. You know, I try not to kill my, my cost awesome. average. If I can get it cheap, I'm gonna keep it that way. You know. Okay. So the other one down is PP. PP is down four percent. So it's eighteen thirty seven. My average is seventeen forty. Well, drop below eighteen, I may buy it. You know. All right, let's see what else. Uh, NVD, the other one that I have a plan on is NVD right here. Uh, now, I did put a purchase order this for a couple of days ago. I have a price for $25, so that when this thing dropped to $25, I'm gonna buy 16 shares, just double this amount. So if you can see, eventually I'm gonna get 100 shares, just like TSLP, uh, AMDY, just like AIYY, I'm gonna get 100 shares, uh, just like you know uh, SQY, I'm gonna get 100 shares across the board. And eventually, after I get 100 shares, then I work toward 200 shares across the board. Eventually, I'm going to try to work toward 300 shares. Eventually, in time, I'm going to get 1,000 shares across the board. Every, every one of these funds, I'm going to get 1,000 shares. You know, once you get to 1,000 shares, we're looking at almost a $40,000 uh, $40, monthly payments, you know. So we're talking about a while ago, a while from now, a couple of years from now. So no rush, okay? So that's that's where I'm working. That's where I'm heading, right? So, like, I'm... Think about it. I'm 75 cents from double or 63 cents now from doubling NVDY. So when NVDY dropped to $25, I'm going to get another 16 share that can bring it to 32 shares, and I'm, I'm already close to 100. Okay? Uh, Trace, I'm going to buy some uh, when it drops, but I don't need to right now. But look at AMDY. AMDY, if it, um, if it dropped to 18. Uh, 39 that will be a dollar off it drop you know somewhere around that price I'm gonna buy some more I because it only it already have 48 share I probably wait until the X date um, which is next month so then I'll probably just buy the remaining 52 shares to make it 100 you know um, I, you know this is you know some of the thought process I go through I just or, or if it drop a little bit I just buy it I'm just constantly DCA my uh, portfolio so eventually, what you happen if you keep DC in your portfolio, they're all going to turn green along with everything else. Uh, there's not much I can do with Tesla because I have so many share now. You can't DCA because you just have so many share. The only way to do this is uh, is is just let time, let Tesla come back up, and that will, it will happen because Tesla going to come up and Tesla going to come back up, and and then and it's going to be fine. That's one way. And I did buy. I mean, even though even though it's you know, I still buy. I'll show you my lots here. Uh, I bought you know on April fifth, which is a couple of days ago. I bought twenty shares. So I still buy you know ten share, five share, twenty share, fifty share here and there. So just just keep keep my cost average down. But buying that twenty share, they didn't they didn't even move the needle. I still my average still twenty three dollars thirty cents. It didn't even move the needle on twenty share. You know, but I keep. Keep working on it, you know. Eventually, one or two things happen. I keep buying more share. My cost average come down, on the price come up, and guess what? We meet, and it's gonna be zero. 
All right. I love Tesla. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep focus on Tesla. Keep buying Tesla. I was gonna make a video call um, uh, my one year anniversary on high yield dividends uh, on on all in on Tesla. For those who don't know, somewhere around May, I made a video call all in on Tesla, and that have changed my portfolio. It literally changed my portfolio. It's truly one of the best thing ever happened to my portfolio. I would not be able to get seven thousand dollars a month. If I did not go in all in Tesla, I, I wouldn't because Tesla would be too expensive, and and then I wouldn't buy because it you know if, if I didn't buy it as it come down, um, and keep throwing money at it, what happened? I, I would just stop buying it. I would buy something else, and and to be fair, I would be sitting around maybe two thousand share. That's it. Maybe a thousand, two thousand share. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Investment income. What, uh, let me show you 2023, my journey. All right? When I started this fund, I have seven cents of dividends. That's how much I made from the first month. Why? Because I own SCHD, I own uh, Realty Income, I own Coca-Cola, you know, not a lot. I own, you know, right, your own stuff. And then February, I made 28 cents. In March, I made $4. I'm like, wow, $4. In April, I made thirty-five dollars. That's when that's when things start rolling. In May, I start putting money into Tesla. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go in all in Tesla, and then I got a hundred dollars. In June, in July, I made five hundred dollars. In August, I made one thousand four hundred. And you notice that notice the trend going up. Okay, so if the trend going up, what do you think happened to Tesla? If I'm all in on Tesla, 100% all in on Tesla, no, 98%. So, well, because Tesla price came down, I able to buy more. I able to get more share. And guess what? And they still pay the same yield. You get good yield, good payments, and you get more share. And the price is cheap, so I able to get more. That's why my portfolio just exploded. By the time December, I'm looking at a $3,000 of dividends income. If if Tesla price was still high at twenty dollars, or let's say it went up to twenty five, thirty dollar, let's say it didn't do the NAF erosion and didn't have capital erosion, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to get three thousand dollars. There's no way. I would have maybe a thousand dollars at most. That's it. For the whole year. Because the price came down is why I got three thousand dollars a month. And so when I start January 2024, look how fast it moved. Three thousand dollar, four thousand dollar, five thousand dollar, and six thousand dollar. Now it's now it's going to now it's going to seven thousand dollar. I'm on my way to seven thousand three hundred sixty. By the end of this month, I'm going to get seven thousand three hundred sixty. Yeah, I still have dividends coming in. I got five thousand payments already. I, I still got 1,400 of dividends coming in. And then in, uh, in January, I mean, sorry, in, in May, I'm going to get 7,360. So think about 7,360 here, 7,000, you know, in May, you add another maybe 7,600, 700. In June, I'm going to reach 8,000. Every three months, I told you guys, every three months, I'm going to make $1,000. That's possible because I was so heavy on Tesla. That's possible because I got so many share on Tesla. That's why. It, it would not be possible. You're not going to, I keep telling people this all the time. You're not going to get rich buying, if you're starting out, if you're already, if you're already a rich mofo, then yeah, you're going to get rich because you're, you're starting with a million dollars. You're starting with $100,000. But if you're starting with zero dollar like me and putting a thousand five hundred or whatever amount in, you're not gonna get rich buying a fifty dollar funds. You're not gonna get rich buying well a three hundred dollar spy or a four hundred dollar vu fund. Yeah, you can, but it's gonna take you a long time. You will get rich, but it's gonna take you a long time. That's why. That's why I realize. One of, one of the earlier YouTube videos that I saw was, uh, let me see if I can find him real quick. Uh, unconventional, no, no, I can't find him. 
unconventional investment. I'm going to talk about this real quickly. What? What is his name? Is it unconventional? Anybody remember his name? What's Todd's uh, YouTube channel? Anybody can can somebody help me? It's I, unconventional wealth. Oh, unconventional wealth. Oh my god. Thank you. All right, Todd. Where you at, Todd? What the heck did I miss? It's Uncon un unconventional. Yeah, it's it's. Unconventional wealth ideas. Uh, Todd a Aikman or something like yeah. Todd. Oh, hey, this guy, yeah. this guy right here. All right. Yeah, Todd I'm going to give him some credit. For, all right. Hey, Todd, if you're hearing this, man, one of the first people I saw on YouTube channel, um, the first person I saw is this gentleman right here, my investment journey. And that's inspired me to do my investment journey. And then the next one is uh, the Chinese lady, uh, Humble Trader. And then I saw unconventional wealth, and I, I fell in love with it. Unconventional wealth taught one of the smartest guy I met in in YouTube channel. This guy is spot on, spot on. Everybody's looking at his fun, and they they, they see garbage. They they think it's trash, and they make fun of him. Uh, I make fun of him because because you know he's you know he's. He's, he's selling his e-guy and phone number and stuff like that. But I definitely don't think it's trash or garbage. I just made fun of him just because he, he's selling his e-guy. You know, I think it's funny. But this guy's a genius. And for some reason, he's painting Mona Lisa and everybody look at it as a trash. It's like a trash painting. People don't see how beautiful he play his fun. They, they, they don't understand it. They, they, what they tell me is they don't, the, the negativity is because they don't understand what he's doing. The beauty of it. He's all in on CLM, CLM, Cornerstone. He bought Cornerstone essentially at a five dollar NAV price. You know, if you buy it at Charles Schwab, it's like seven dollars and seven cents or something like that, and it pay you ten to twelve cents, right? But it's not the Cornerstone. It's not the the the, the price. Now I I go after the dividend. He's not. In, he's going after the margin. That thing gave him twenty thirty percent margin. And he able to use that money to buy more, more fun. And what he buy? He buy Tesla, he buy Yield Max, he buy all these things. I saw his Yield Max. I, I mean, I watched a lot of his video, but I didn't really. But man, this video on Tesla, like, are we crazy to buy more Tesla? If you watch that video, then you see the genius in him. Because he's essentially using somebody else's money to buy more fun. All right, so my point, going back to my portfolio, is that somewhere around December, up this point, I'm not using margin at all. This is my money. Uh, I use margin here and there, but not the way I play it. But in January, it, it's in my PowerPoint. I explain my strategy, my the things I want to do. I didn't deviate. In January, I use my I use margin. I use heavy, heavy margin. Because I don't, I just, and then I bought it very cheap with the margin, just very, very cheap. I think I started using margin like somewhere around October. If somebody go back all the way to October, like I started using, like I got 10,000 of margin, 20,000 margin, 30,000 of margin, 40,000 of margin, 50,000 of margin, 60,000. And finally by April, I'm at $70,000 worth of margin. I'm using somebody else's money to generate more income. And what do I buy? I buy Tesla. I just bought a lot of Tesla. Matter of fact, everybody run away from Tesla. Uh, man, there's so many people, they used to make YouTube video, people just abandon ship and they're just like quitting on it. They're just like, Tesla sucks. Yeah, because you're looking at it, you think it's garbage. But Todd, people like me, Todd, and a whole bunch of other people, we look at it as like, this is Mona Lisa. This is beautiful. Because you're able to buy something cheap. I have 3,720 shares. Right? 
Imagine I own that and my cost average is at $14, $15. Holy cow. Talking about a gold mine. But obviously it didn't happen that way because I bought it, you know, at the beginning. And then, and yet it paid me 50% yields. Holy cow. That's why I'm able to generate $7,000 a month on my way to $8,000 a month because of Tesla. If I didn't have Tesla, I wouldn't be able to do this. I just would not be able to do this. I'm still looking at a $2,000 portfolio. My point is, if you want to get rich, these, it, you're not going to get rich buying something high because it's safer or less volatile or l- less restriction, you know, less whatever, whatever, you know, adjective word you put in there. You're going to get rich if you understand this. All right, what do, you, what do you have to understand? Well, I'm going to go back to my investment income. As, as 2023, as I understood how Tesla worked, I just exploded because I understood how it works. I understood it. I was like, oh my God, this thing is, Tesla is one of the most beautiful fun I've ever seen in my life. This thing is so beautiful. It's amazing. Holy cow. That's why Tesla is the flagship of Yield Max. I'm not the only one to think that way. There's 800 million people put, eight, not millions, but $800 million is invested in Tesla. More than eight. I, I'm not sure what their fund now is. Probably 900 now. There's millions of people. Yeah, around 800. How many? 800, 795 million. About 800 million, yeah. It's, it's great money. There's people believing in it. They put money into it. No, I'm not the only one. They see this fun and like, oh my God, this thing is so beautiful. So beautiful. Because I was able to buy it very, very cheap. Just like Todd buy CLM very, very cheap. And then not only that, they give me margins. Now I'm using somebody else's money to, to generate more wealth. And, and that's why I'm able to generate. If I was playing safe, I don't know. Well, back then, we have Tesla Clip and stuff like that. Let's say that I buy JEPI, J-E-P-I, but that was the, the highest dividends paying out during the time, J-E-P-I. From January on to now, I guess what? I probably have, I probably have maybe 300 shares because that thing is like $50. Let's do the calculation real quick. Jeppy during the time was fifty to sixty dollars. Let's make it fifty-five cents. All right, uh, fifty-five dollars. All right, uh, div- I'm sorry, one thousand, because I I put a thousand in. Divide by fifty dollar. I get twenty share. That's it. So if if I went all in. On JEPI, I don't have Tesla. I got 20 share, 20 share, 20 share. Uh, well, I started in April, May. Let's say I started in, let's say I started in, in May. 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 times 20, about 160 shares. Compound, let's add, you know, make the number. I probably get 160 share, 180 share. That's it. 180 share of Jeppy. 180 share of Jeppy. Jeppy pay what? 30 cents? 40 cents? Can, it, can somebody look at Jeppy price for me real quick while I'm calculating? What is the Jeppy J E P I uh, today today's dividends? 35 cents. 35 cents. I'm gonna give it 200. Okay, even though it's only 160, I'm gonna give it 40 more share. 40 more share. I'm gonna make it 200 share. Time 35 cents. 70 dollars. I made $70 per month <laughs> in comparison to $3,000 per month. Seventy <laughs> If I buy nothing but just Jeppy all in on JEPI last year with $1,000 a month, I get about $70 per month. That's it. I would start January, two, two, I would start January 2024 with $70. And that's it. If you want to get rich, Todd, Todd, you're a genius, dude. I'm a fan. 
I understood exactly what you're doing, dude. I understand. I'm, you know, like, tr if you hear me make fun of you, that's just because we like to tease each other. But you're a genius. I un I totally understand. You bought CLM for seven dollar for five dollars, not even seven dollars. He bought it for five dollars, and he owned like half a million of them. All right. And then he take that money to buy yield max and high yield dividends. It's not even his money. It's the margin money that he, he's essentially borrowing somebody else's money to buy yield max. Holy cow, why didn't I think of that? Awesome. Awesome. I I just did the same way, but I just I just do it with Tesla. So I start with twenty twenty four. And um, and I'm j just using the margin to buy Tesla, and I get more, and that's why I get seven, eight thousand. That's how you speed up. You're not gonna speed it up. You're not gonna speed up praying for Tesla to come up. Now, what you, you what we should what concern you if Tesla's not paying the dividends, but they will. By law, they have to. Their mission is to generate income. You know. If they want to, they want to be a flagship fund. They they have to maintain fifty percent yield, and that's what Jay talk about all the time. Hey, I'm I'm pay, I'm, ma I'm maintaining fifty percent yield. Maintain fifty percent yield. He knows that. He knows that's 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 what keeping him afloat. Because the moment he's not paying fifty percent yield and you're sixty percent down, nobody's gonna buy your fund. Nobody, not even me. But I'm not in it for, for the 60% down. I'm in it for the yield. I'm in it for the income of it. That's a big difference. That's the big difference. You're not going to get rich. You're not going to... Now, the only exception to the rule is like MSTR paying $4. NVD paying $2. That's crazy, man. That's just crazy. That's probably the only exception to the rule. That's an outline situation. Man, I wish I had MSTR back when I first came out. You know? <laughs> yeah, you're not the only one. No. Yeah. That's, that's, that's an... But a lot of people are like, I'm not touching MSTR. Why? Dude, the thing is 30 something dollars cheap. What are you going to buy? Feppy? $55? Why? <laughs> It just it Misty just paid up for uh, ten percent too. Yeah. Ridiculous. Why we now it's, it's it's your choice. You know, uh, the concern is that once the uh, once the uh, the price come down on it will come down on um, on Bitcoin, MSTR, Coinbase, all that kind of crash and go into this winter hibernation period, and then gonna wait for the next three four years. So. Um, that's the concern. I don't know much about crypto for me even to talk about that, so I'm a little out of my topics. But that's the concern. That's a fair concern, um, you know. But they pay pretty good price. But let's say you know all the other conventional one, you know, they a lot of people a lot of people don't like these yield max, but they want to buy something, dude. You're not gonna get rich in the next three four years. I'm gonna I'm gonna go from. The first year, three thousand dollar, just like just like my PowerPoint said. My second year, I'm going to get ten thousand dollar, and my third year, I'm looking at fifteen to twenty thousand dollar if I keep playing. I'm looking at I'm looking at maybe potentially I'm leaving the job much earlier. Like I'm in a lot of pain. A lot of I, I hate to talk about my personal stuff, but like I'm in a lot of pain. If time go to work, I'm in pain. So I may I may just call Uncle. After 2025, like I'm, 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 I'm squeezing one more year. The only reason I'm squeezing one more year is this, like for this, to this workout. I want to go through this year, 2024. I'm gonna get ten thousand dollar. Next summer, next year, 2025. All I need is get three thousand dollar more for taxes, thirteen thousand, and then I literally can just stop working. But if I keep working. And I keep investing all my money. I'm on my way to twenty thousand. It moved faster. First year three thousand. Second year you get ten thousand. That mean um, that mean I generate uh, almost seven thousand, six thousand to seven thousand 
so it doubled that it it, it more doubled than that number. You make sense? And then um, and then the third year, yeah, that's seven thousand. You know, I'm probably gonna I'm on my way to twenty thousand if I just if I just fight through fight through the pain. And then the good news is toward my last year, man, I'm just gonna do medical and you know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a lot of medical stuff, you know, make sure everything's good, taking care of that. Yeah. And then I then I'm done. I'm on my way. You if you if you want to get rich, my favorite my favorite quote from uh, Mel Gibson's movie, he uh, Mad Max Two, they were not told, uh, and and the the gas is cha ching cha ching cha ching, and then. The guy with the hockey mask, he's with the microphone. This is Mad Max 2. Anybody see 2? And he's talking with the speaker. He's like, give me your oil. You know, we want your oil. And stuff like that. And, uh, you know, just just walk away. Walk away. Leave. Walk away. Give us your oil. We'll let you go for free. We'll walk. Just walk away. <laughs> That's what they want them to do, walk away. Yeah, no, they want the girls. What do you think they fight for? The girls. They got all the hot girls in that at all. They don't care about the oil. <laughs> and uh, that's a part of the film they people missing. All right? All right, but, um, but, but Mad Max came in. He, he kind of like blew a whistle. He said, hey, you guys want to get out of here? And come talk to me. I'm telling you, if you want to get rich, I'm not talking about... Study Eddie, get in retirement. I'm talking about you're gonna you're gonna make ten twenty thousand dollars a month in two three years. You're not you you're not gonna get rich. Um, putting money in a fifty a fifty dollar sixty seventy dollar fund. It's it's gonna be much harder. You're not gonna get rich buying a four hundred dollar VU. Or a four hundred dollar spy, or IVV, or QQQ. You're gonna grow fifteen percent. Yeah, that's good luck. Fifteen percent. You know, hey, good luck. I don't want fifteen percent. I want more income, so I can buy QQQ. When I make twenty thousand dollars a month. I can buy QQQ. I can buy a lot of them. I can buy a lot of Tesla. I'm making. I'm just trying to generate income. I'm telling you, that's the the, it, the 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 formula is not that. The formula is very easy. A lot of people like to fight it. You know, if you find yourself debating it and fighting it and kind of like, I don't understand Tesla, the nav erosion, the capital erosion. Man, this thing was doing twenty for one dollar. The first question is, do I own Tessie right now? No, I don't own Tessie. Then, then don't worry about what that nav erosion is. You haven't bought it yet. Look at the price. Tesla price is... Um, all right, that's not my portfolio. Tesla price is $15 or $14 a couple days ago. What's the price now? $15.53. Tesla price is $15. Or look at some other fund if you don't like Tesla. Then go, damn, you hate Tesla that much? You hate Elon that much? Then go look at IWMY. IWMY, $16.73. And this thing pay you a dollar. It'll pay you a dollar every month since inception. It's $16 price. That's your cost. That's what you pay into it. That's crazy. People always talk about this magical number, like, well, if you buy, you put $100,000, you put $10,000, what, what are you talking about? I got a paycheck last month, $1,000, I'm buying $16.72. And guess how many share I'm going to get with $1,000? Let's do the number here. $1,000. Divide by 16, uh, I forgot what the price was. Six, let's say 1672. I got 59 shares. Dude, I got 59 shares. That's more than Jeppy, J E P I, the, you know, I did earlier. And, uh, yeah, and you keep owning it. 
Keep buying, keep getting more share, keep getting more share. Keep getting more. At least you make $59 that month. Guess, guess what? Next month you put $1,059. And, and people don't see the beauty of this thing. And they keep, you know, yeah. If you, if you, if you ignore the low price and you only want to buy everything in a perfect world, you're not going to, you're not going to, dude, I, have, have you, some of you, please tell me you've been to a casino. If you've all been to a casino, let me know. You're not going to get rich playing blackjack at $5 table. You're not. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. The house going to win. Let's say you play for four hours, you're going to lose, you're going to lose at least 49% of the time. Or win 49, you're going to lose 51% of the time. The house going to win. The longer you play, no, man. You want to get in and out so the law of average does not work against you. You want to go in there and play. If you want to play in the casino, then you play. If you want to go bet on a basketball, then bet. If you if you if you're trying to, uh, first of all, I a lot of people are like, well, this stuff is very risky. What? What risk? We own this fund right now. I own Tesla, Clip, or OK, you know, more than a year now. It's doing fine, and it's been doing fine. There's there's people, you know. I'm just curious. Yeah, OK. Well, be the safe guy. Go put on SHD. Go buy whatever fund that you want to buy. And then we'll continue to make money. And you just, you know, I'm continuing to make 7000 8000 9000 10000 a month. You know, that's, that's it. All right. That's it. Uh, I just want to share you my perspective on this. Hey, thank you all for watching. I'm going to stop the recording here.